August arrived, um, I was not feeling my best and a lot of things were unsettling. There were a lot of uncertainties. I was just feeling down, which is normal. And I think like a lot of people are feeling down right now because we don't know what next month is gonna be like, let alone next year. And we don't know sometimes how the present moment feels. Uh, and when I have a lot of time on my own, I also get a lot of time to think about things. Um, and I was also fighting to survive in the city, to be honest. Uh, trying to find some money and uh, you know dealing with different things and apartment stuff so my birthday came yes on top of a pandemic I had to turn a year older and I did and it went fine but I did not want to celebrate it I did celebrate it last year which was really nice because I had my brothers uh, this year I was not in the mood to celebrate it. It's not that I was sad about it and I wanted to cry about my old age. Uh, it, I just didn't care for it. It was not that important. So I just decided not to throw a party because first you can't really have a real party. And for me, if I have a party, my favorite thing is to hug people and that's not, <laughs> you know. So I did not do anything special for my birthday. I spent it with Harrison, I actually spent it a lot on the phone, more than I wanted that day, um, talking to friends and talking to Douglas. I just went to the park and enjoyed the day and tried to get into a nice positive mood of appreciating that I get to live life and I get to fight for this life. And you know, some people are worse than where I died and I am very lucky to have my health live in the city of my dream, even though it's kind of a nightmare at the moment. Um, yeah, so I turned 37. Wow, 37. I never thought I would turn 37, but here I am, I'm saying it. And you know what? It is what it is. I had 36 years that were really good, 37 years. It's just a number, I definitely feel it. Um, and sometimes I don't, but anyhow, moving on. Uh, I think the most positive things that happened this summer, uh, and I want to do a separate video to tell you all about the process on how I did it, but I am an American citizen. Woo, I don't know what I'm doing this. Um, yeah, that's true. After 10 years of living in New York and a year and a half of uh, trying to get it, I mean, I got it. It was so odd to me. Uh, I did my interview right before uh, everything shut down for COVID and I had no idea when I would be able to get it, but I got it. So I'm an American citizen and I am able to vote, uh, which is something that I really want to do this year. And But if you have a right to vote, please do so and do wisely. Um, but yeah, so I am not gonna cheer up right now thinking about it. It still feels so surreal to know that I have two nationalities um, and the most important thing is I got to get uh, my name back. So I am back as Jennifer Verne or Jennifer Verne, uh, as we say in French. And I'm so happy to get my identity back. And I was so happy to also keep my French uh, citizenship. I would never give up my French citizenship. It is so precious. You have no idea you French people are special it is to be a French citizen. But after 10 years in New York, I am happy to report that I am an American. So here's another thing that went so bad this summer is the job situation. Uh, I had to adapt. First, I had to close my business. It still is not coming back fully, but I am getting jobs, which is cool. Uh, I've been doing uh, some portrait shoots here and there, very small one. Uh, I've been doing even LinkedIn, photo shoot if you want a new picture for your LinkedIn profile because you're also looking for a job, let me know, I'm your girl. Uh, I actually got to photograph my first wedding of the year, which was last week in Jersey City, and I was so grateful to do that. It was so good, so special. Again, because of the pandemic, everything is outside. So the ceremony was right in front of City Hall. It was a gorgeous day. The bride wore lilac and it was so, so beautiful. I was just feeling very grateful to be able to do those um, little shoots and knowing that it's coming back and people are hiring photographer again because everybody has suffered during COVID. So I have no idea what the future will be like as a photographer, but I am still a photographer and just saying this feels amazing because this is what I love 
doing. I always knew that I loved doing it. And after these months and shooting that old wedding, I know that I'd have to fight for it. And here is what happened. So this summer, I started to feel like photography was over for me and I needed to find a job. Uh, before photography, I was doing marketing. I have a master's of international business. I have like 14 years of experience behind me because yeah, 37. Um, so I worked uh, with somebody who we did my resume, we worked on my cover letter, and then I started looking for jobs and applying, and applied so many jobs in uh, July and beginning of August. Nothing was going through. Every week I learned about a friend who's losing his job or her job, and out of nowhere, you know, like, so the economy is really bad in the US right now. To be honest with you, I did not even get one interview after sending so many resumes, and I spent all my days doing that. In the meantime, my photography clients or photography prospects started asking and reaching out. And I met with a friend of mine who was also a photographer who was trying and she and I had a very heartfelt conversation and I was like, why am I giving up photography? Like, I can't. So then I started doing like both where I would like, I would see an ad and I'm like, oh, this could be very cool. I could work uh, doing this job. And so I'm applying it. But at the same time, I'm trying to look for more jobs in photography, more job in editing. I am uh, doing, you know, photo editing, video editing as well. Um, uh, website building. Sadly, Fashion Week is not happening, which is a shame. September is my favorite month of the year because I get to photograph Fashion Week. I get to go to friends to do it. And um, this time it is not happening. Then something else happened that I haven't told you about is I am moving. And I am saying it a lot during the day because I still can't realize it. I've been in this apartment for six years, I think eight years on the Upper West Side. And I love my apartment. Everybody knows me, know that. You probably know this if you follow me on Instagram. I am so thankful that I had this place, but I think it is time for me to move and uh, move forward and moving on. Uh, this is a lot of my New York City history has happened in this apartment, good and bad. And when I say bad, horrible. But still, this has been home and this is home, but I am moving. And this was such a stressful situation. Imagine trying to look for a job in a pandemic. Well, imagine adding this, trying to look for an apartment in the middle of a pandemic. Not easy. But I'm happy to say that I am moving with roommates which I was super scared of at first. I've met them and they look super cool. I'm sure they are. They absolutely love Harrison. The apartment is pretty big. And the best thing of it, it's in the Upper West Side. So I'm staying on the Upper West Side. I will do a whole video about moving and the new place. And actually I was thinking doing a apartment tour. If you're interested of seeing, you know, my whole apartment right now let me know in the comment uh, i'm thinking about doing this video it's a four bedroom two bathroom apartment uh, right next to central park i'm actually going to be closer to central park than where i am right now if you can believe it and uh, i have a giant rooftop which is great so i don't want to tell you more about this i rather do another video because i don't want this video to be too long but I guess that's the big scoop that I haven't told anybody on Instagram or YouTube is, wow, I am moving. It's huge, guys. It is huge. Uh, this apartment is part of me and um, yeah, but I am not sad. I don't know if it's because I don't realize it. I'm actually, yeah, I'm good with it. And Harrison's gonna get new friends. So October 1st, you're gonna see us in a new place. So that is it for my long list of updates that I wanted to talk about and let you know about because you've been following me for some of you for years and I don't know, I like talking to you. As you can see, I'm all alone. I talk to Harrison, but he's asleep right now. I think like talking to you is great because you reach out and then we talk. Summer has been going in a flash. It's been an emotional roller coaster. You know, it's been life up and down and uh, I am super excited for what's coming in the fall. And right before doing this, because I've been seeing everybody going on vacation this year and that's another downside of it. I love taking road trips in the summer. Usually I have my brother with me. Last year I got super lucky. I got my two brothers with me. This year it was not happening. A road trip was not happening, but then what? Yeah, it is happening. <laughs> yeah harrison and i are taking a road trip we are heading to the finger lakes for four days i rented a car and we're just 
going to take it easy and enjoy the end of the summer because I wanted to enjoy it and make it special and also reward myself because I've been through a lot and uh, you know it's important to reward yourself it's time for me to treat myself and uh, I'm sure Harrison would be really enjoy being by the lakes we are going five hours upstate from here and uh, I'll take you along of course and uh, show you what we're looking at and what we're doing anyhow I'm wrapping this video and I'm saying thank you for being here again you're always like make me so happy when you answer to those videos I hope your summer hasn't been too harsh and I hope you got to enjoy it a little bit I have no idea how the situation is on your hand in New York it's still very quiet um, hopefully the fall people are going to start to come back We've been doing so well with COVID, with you know less than 1% came back positive of all the tests. So we are still like being super careful and wear our mask and like washing our hands and trying not to touch each other too much, not going to each other's apartment. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm always so bad at ending those video. Please subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, I can tell you that I think it's going to be an apartment tour of this house, the moving vlogs, the Finger Lakes road trip. So I have a lot of things in store for you that I want to show. And uh, yeah, let me know how it's going on your hand. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to this channel, but also to my Instagram because that's where you see a little bit of glimpse of my life every day. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh, Thank mm -hmm. you.